Welcome back. In my last video, I showed you my newly created dust collection system. If you haven't had a chance to see that video, make sure you go check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I've had this really cool green metal bin floating around my shop for years, and I just haven't found the right use for it. At first glance, the writing on the front makes it look like it held some sort of hazardous material, but it's really just for storing wheat or dry food. I think it'll work perfect as a dust separator. I decided to use the Dust Right Dust Separator components from Rockler to make easy work of this. It comes with two outside fittings, two inside 90 degree fittings, and some handy sizing stickers so you know how big of holes to cut out. This bin has a lid that fits pretty tight, so all I did was stick the big circle stickers on the top of the lid about two inches away from the side and space them evenly apart away from each other. They don't have to be exact. Then I drilled a pilot hole on the inside edge of one of the circles so I could get my jigsaw blade in it. I realized there were going to be a lot of metal shavings, so I thought it might be a good idea to wear some work gloves. And I traced the circles onto the top of the lid just in case the stickers decided they wanted to unstick. Then I just cut out the circle with my jigsaw. Depending on what material your bin is, you might want to use a metal cutting blade. This metal is pretty soft, so my typical multi-use blade did the trick. Once I cut out the first hole, I checked the fit and it fit perfectly. So I did the same thing with the second hole. So if you don't know, the idea behind a dust separator is that it helps extend the life of your dust collector and filter by collecting the bigger particles of wood and debris before it gets to your dust collector. It does this by creating a cyclone inside the bin where all the heavier debris can fall to the bottom and only the smaller, lighter particles can move on to the collector itself. Once both holes are cut out, you simply screw the inside fitting and the outside fitting together through the hole. Rockler really couldn't have made it any easier. Screwing them together will secure them to the top, but they can be rotated. It's important that the 90 degree fittings on the inside are pointed in opposite directions. This is what creates that cyclone effect. Now it's time to get it all hooked up and test it out. My dust collection system has an initial piece of flex hose hooking my jet dust collector to the piping. So I just unhooked that piece of flex hose and attached it to one of the top fittings on my dust separator. I then cut a small piece of flex hose and ran it from the dust separator to the dust collector itself. It took a second to figure out how I wanted these hoses to cross because I didn't want to create any sharp turns that would reduce the efficiency of my system. Then it was time to test it out. But first I needed to empty my full dust collector bag. I have a habit of letting these things fill up so much they are hard to get out. Maybe that's another good reason I need a dust separator. It'll be much easier to empty than having to change out these bags so often. Jet does make these things pretty easy to change though. I wanted to test a few different sizes of sawdust or debris. So to start, I first turned on the planer and planed down some scrap pine wood. Then I found some bigger wood chips and small cutoffs around the shop and let my dust collector suck those up. I'm going to be adding a floor sleep at some point, so I want to see if this thing will separate these bigger chunks before they hit my dust collector's turbines. And here are the results. It looks like it performed pretty well. As you can see, most of the wood chips from the planer were caught in the bottom of the bin as well as the bigger wood chips and the smaller cutoffs. And then if you look at the bag, not a ton ended up in the bag. I would say about 70% of the debris ended up in the dust separator. I can tell this is gonna be a great addition to my dust collection system.